Well, hello. Hi, it's Belinda. Andy, I'm back here again. <laughs> From the kitchen at Chateau Marai. Hi. Um, so, those of you who saw our last kitchen episode, um, I feel a bit remiss, really, because I mentioned pastry. I don't know if you remember, but I'd made some steak pasties for I Lee. I remember the steak pasty very well, thank <laughs> so, you. And, yeah, Lee was, Lee was still sort of uh, very warm in his tummy from eating his pasty. Um, and I said, oh, I'll tell you a bit more about those later. And, actually, I didn't talk any more about pastry because I got so carried away with all the other things that I was cooking that I didn't mention pastry again. So I thought, OK, this time I'm going to do a short and hopefully short, hopefully sweet little episode just to focus on pastry. So the pasties that I made for Lee, this is so typical of me, I was using up some odds and ends, I love doing that, and I had a packet of pastry similar to this, um, this is actually a short crust pastry and that was a flaky pastry, um, yeah puff pastry, uh, but it doesn't really matter for purposes of uh, of today. Um, now pastry in France, the way you buy it in France typically is in a round and I'll show you that in a moment and that is why I wanted to show you these particular pasties because I'd overcome some challenges into how to make pasties out of one round piece of pastry. More about that in a moment. Uh, but I had some more leftovers as always and I thought right I'm going to do something with those today and showcase pastry so I made some pastry first of all can you see that Lee yeah I can see I made it. that in the food processor um it's very simple that was and time and tradition here's, yeah, one, I made here's one I made earlier so this is about what was this 300 grams of plain flour uh 150 grams of um this was some pastry making margarine a French product I use or I happen to have and some water in the food processor and I've made this pastry and it has been chilling in the fridge uh, and I've just just bought it out to roll it and use it it wouldn't need to go in the fridge it's freezing here at the moment <laughs> no, no, no. It's, just left it out in the garden it's like the Bahamas in here am I shivering and shaking oh yeah, I'm not shaking Stevens <laughs> So the reason I'm cracking on with these, this pastry first is because I want to make some little quiche and um, what really I need to do is to uh, line these little quiche dishes and let them rest in the fridge. Line them with what? With pastry? Uh, pastry. Oh, okay. Yeah, make the pastry lining. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sorry, I didn't explain myself very clearly. Anyway, Lee. Um, so I'm going to line them with the pastry. I'm just looking forward to tasting it, that's all. Pop them in the fridge to rest. I love making quiche. I used to make, I had a food business before we came out to France. And do you remember Lee, I would literally make dozens of these at a time. Yeah. So I did get very good at them at one point. And I haven't made, haven't made them in bulk actually for quite some time, so. Which is good, because it's helped me to lose quite a bit of weight. <laughs> Let's see how I do. So um, what I'm going to do is I've got this, I'm gonna roughly cut this into six, because I've got six little flan dishes. Uh, and see how we go. I'll probably make a complete hash of this. There we are. Well, I'll do one to start with. Oh, now also another thing I wanted to show everybody. Um, again, if you saw the last cookery vlog, you might have seen me being a little uh, almost tearful over the fact that one of my grandmother's bread boards had been put in the dishwasher by a previous guest. Obviously, I wouldn't do that. Um, I bought this recently, not recently, not very recently, but last year. Within when the we last were still allowed months, to go we out to markets. To go shopping, yeah. um, at a local brocante. And this reminded me of something that my granny would have used. It looks like a very old rolling pin. So I'm, I'm going to have a go with this. I'm always sure slightly nervous this. when Ooh. I see a rolling pin in your hand. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I should have put some flour on this. Yeah. Shouldn't I? It's what my mum always used to do, flour. I everything. don't have over here at the moment and I think I'm going to have to go and get. So I'll see everybody in a moment. So I've got some flour now which will help the sticking or non-sticking process. It doesn't really matter. This is actually bread flour but it really doesn't matter what it is. I just don't want it to stick. There we are, that's better. So roughly in a, roughly in a circle. So I'm going to shape it into the little patty tins. Looks a bit right, doesn't it? I think the thing is with pastry that I don't always... you have to butter the tin first. Um, 
plenty of fat in the pastry, you don't butter them. I think the thing is with pastry, the thing I've learned is just to be bold and brave with it. So don't, don't let it control you. You control the pastry. Don't let it control you. It's like wearing clothes. Don't wear your clothes, don't let them wear you. So it's very similar with pastry. Don't let it control you. So there we are, look how fast that is. Just push it in. I'm just going to cut off the surplus pastry. I've got six of these to do, so I will see you shortly. Do you know when I was a kid and my mum used to do baking like you're doing, I used to get the little leftover bits of pastry yeah. and use it as like plasticine and make models out of it. Do you know what I used to do with my bits of leftover pastry? So what we used to do was roll them out and we used to sprinkle sugar and raisins or sultanas and then fold the pastry over and roll it out and make a sort of raisiny biscuit and put it in the oven. Oh, that's far better than making a dough Absolutely. man, which is what I used to make. <laughs> <laughs> what would you want? A I'm dough man or a currant and raisin currant biscuit? Pastry. I never had the imagination to do that. <laughs> I put the bottom of that. Um, I will see you after I've done this. That's the difference between boys and girls and men and women, isn't it, really? pastry right into the corners of the tin just get it in right in because you don't want it to shrink Brilliant. have you ever done any shrink. boxing in your life boxing yeah. why because that looked suspiciously like a jab that you were using you know, to punch that pastry into technique. the dish it, you do have to be fairly uh, ag aggressive with it from time to time. I was going to say, you're <laughs> a stealth like ninja with your boxing fingers. Righty ho, do you know what? That's all six done. All six done. What I'm going to do is pop these in the fridge just to chill down. Um, and then we will crack on with the pasties. I mean, you'll be very excited about the filling for these pasties. Well, I'm getting very excited because it looks like there's a bottle of fizz in that fridge. Oh, no, well. Oh yes, there is. I didn't know it was there. I honestly, See, genuinely yeah, didn't yeah, know it was there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right, they're in there. I'm going to clear away onto the pasties next. Oh, there's some spare pastry there, Lee. You I'm not make making a doughboy with it. No. Models later, no. No. Okay. I'll make a model aeroplane. It wouldn't fly though. <laughs> I might make some of those raisin sugary biscuits later. No, I'm bit. cutting out all sugar from my diet because I don't want to get diabetes. Oh. So wish me luck with this next bit. Um. So what are you doing next? Opening this, I'm making the uh, pasties. Oh, you're making them, what, the meat ones? No, because you know, what I what I did, in my, I was having, as I said earlier, I was having a bit of a freezer clearance this morning. So I found this pastry, but I also found one little portion of vegetable curry. And I thought I'm going to make some sort of samosa type of right. pasties, some curry So what was the thing pasties. you were saying earlier on about having a round, you've got a round. Well, look, there it is. So this is how the pastry comes, which if you're making a big round quiche or a big round flan is absolutely perfect. But for anything else, I mean, for example, have you ever tried making sausage rolls with one of these? Because I have, I mean, you can do it, but they do turn out a bit peculiar. Um, so I thought today I would reprise my pasty that I made only last week that I made with steak, but I'm going to make it with... I like the steak one. I know you did. That actually smells lovely, that vegetable curry. So look, I'm just literally going to cut that in half because I'm going to make two big lunch size pasties, basically. Yum, yum. Okay. Yeah. So there we are. Just, just cut that in half. Cut the paper in half as well, of course. And I've got this... Um, this is cold. So this is just a portion of vegetable curry I've made. It's got carrots, it's got some swede, it's got some turnip, it's got um, chickpeas, lentils and some broccoli uh, and onion and garlic. So I thought I'll just pop half well, Once again I just want to on each. zoom in on that if I may. Yeah. Oh this really smells nice. Can you smell it? Not yet. It smells um, lovely. I'm sure I will be smelling it in a minute. Yeah. 
but um I'm gonna be eating it in a minute. I'm starving. Oh <laughs> good. Oh, it's like a Cornish pasty Bear with almost. Me. Yeah, you'll see in a minute. Except it's um, only got savoury. So do you know what you could do? You could make sweet one. Well, do you know what you could do? You could make one with a savoury and then you could make one like with an apple, so you could just chop an apple up with some sugar and um again some raisins or something. Uh, oh, hold on a minute. Let me just make sure that that's spread out because I'll show you why in a minute, Lee. I'm going to, uh, okay. It wants to be quite spread because you don't want too much thick pastry on the outside, on the edges, do you? So I'm going to seal these pastries now. I'm just going to brush just some milk. You could use egg um, just around the edges. You could do it with your fingers. Just do that. Do one first of all. So I'm going to just bring that over like that. So literally fold the fold it in half to make um to make a triangle. And then just Do you pinch it? Oh you uh, no, do you know I'm gonna do it with a fork. Just a fork. You could pinch it. So I've seen on TV yeah, where they yeah, pinch yeah. and I could, twist, you can don't crimp, they? crimp and twist and pinch and twist, but I think with a fork it's going to work. It looks nice, like quite that, well. Because what you don't, what you don't want is is too much um, leakage, do you? Actually, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this pasty you next. Certainly don't want any leakage. No, you don't. It'll ruin the oven. Uh, and also, yeah, you waste the food. Lose well. the moisture from the centre of the pasty. Really, I need to think of a name for these, Lee. Perhaps you put your thinking cap on, or your dancer's cap, either. Oh, do. thank you very much. You're my sitting here helping me <laughs> in the kitchen. I'm getting slaughtered with a load of abuse. Dances. Do you remember dances caps? Dances caps. No, I never. No, did you wear one? No, did you wear one? Certainly not. They're certainly not PC anymore. It was only the boys at school that ever got to wear the dances cap. For stand, anyone that doesn't know, in that's the corner. watching this madness that is a pasty being made. <laughs> A dunce's hat is like an ice cream cone upside down <laughs> with, with a no D on it, in it, a big D on with it. With a big D. And you used to be, back in the day, you used to have to wear it on your head you and were, stand in the corner of the classroom naughty. If, you, if you were naughty. <laughs> if you were naughty and stupid. Oh dear, hold on a minute. You can see what I mean about this, can't well, this you? could be getting good now. It could be... It could be... See what I mean about being see, bold with the pastry? Well, though. that's what happens when you're mean to me, you see. <laughs> nasty things happen to nasty people. Anyway, I'm rather inelegantly showing you how to crimp a pasty together here. There we are. And now I'm going to put them onto this baking tray. This is an Olga baking dish. Uh, and it's got, um, this used to be called, well the brand name for this used to be Bako Glide, didn't That's it? Right, yeah. But it's, um, it's um, what's it made of this? I don't know, it's a special type of material that you can put directly onto heat yeah, it's and it's non-stick. Really good. So ah, I'm going so to the beauty these. of that I would imagine is it doesn't introduce any extra ingredients or flavour to the exactly. to the food and you actually just get the food cooked as it was intended to be rather than you know have lots of additional butter or olive oil or something which is what you normally use. You see what I mean about being bold <coughs> with the pastry? Don't be frightened of it and don't let it control you. Be in control of your pastry at all times. So I'm just can going honestly to make some... say in my lifetime, I don't think I've ever been afeard of pastry. Really? No. There's always the first time. So I'm just going to just look, snip some air holes. Is that to stop it blowing up? Yeah. It's just to <laughs> stop the steam from, let the steam escape, I should say. It's like a pie. Like a pie. There we are, look. Quite so how long has that got to go in the oven for then? 20 minutes or so. That can that go all? straight in now, yeah. And they'll be done. Oh, I'm going to brush them with a bit of milk. I had this, again, this is what I sealed them with. You know, you could use an egg. You can egg, use egg um, beaten with water just to make a glaze, but I'm just using a little bit of milk. I noticed there was a wry smile come to your face when you started talking about beating things with water. <laughs> Right, I'm going to pop these in the argon now, Lee. Okay. I'm going to go in the top oven, in the hot oven. Yep. Thanks for the coffee, Lee. Really You're awesome welcome. I've got there. a nice one here as well. Hmm. So, um, the pasties, the, the curry pasties are in the oven. 
and I'm just going to put the quiche together, the little mini quiche together. So the theme today, as you can tell, it's pastry and leftovers, basically. Uh, and I thought, OK, let's use up what I've got in the fridge. So look, I had a couple of slices of ham I've chopped up, um, a bit of uh, broccoli that was left at the bottom of the fridge. I just blanched and that was some odds and ends of hard uh, cheese that I just grated together. And here, look, I've just got some bits from the cheese ball that are left over. So I'm going to use all these odds and ends to make six delicious little quiche. Um, and I'll talk about the, the creamy filling in just a moment. So let me get the quiche out of the fridge, the little plans out of the fridge. So I'm just going to take um, some of this rind off this cheese. Honestly, this is such a great way to use up leftovers in the fridge. Now Lee, you're going to have a bit of a choice um, as to what you would like as a filling in this quiche or how you would like it. Oh wow. Would you, well, would you like me just to put, make ham, broccoli and cheese or do you want some just with broccoli and just with ham or how would you like it? Well, nothing too green. Really. Well, the broccoli is the broccoli, so... Just put it in there. Oh yeah. Oh, that's nice. I'd quite like the ham and the cheese. No, you ha I have to use the broccoli as well. You well, can't pick, not pick, have broccoli. I'll pick the broccoli bits out. No, you won't. I'm going to put broccoli in all of it. Right. Okay. That was useful, wasn't it? You just pop your ingredients in the bottom of the little quiche dishes. You want them to be quite full. You want a decent um, amount of filling in them. Otherwise, it's just eggy, cheesy. Mind you, that's quite nice too. I was going to say, there's a lot Egg of broccoli going fan. in there. Yeah. Don't course, go too mad with it. It's good for you. Steady. We use it all up. There we are. And I'm going to just sprinkle the ham in. If you put more ham in the bottom I'm one, going one, to with the, what I'm going the one with the little, hands, little bits clean. of broccoli, and I'll have that one. And you know you'll eat these as they are. I've got no choice, have I? No, Lee's <laughs> making some sort of pre get... pretense that he doesn't eat vegetables, which yeah. is playing to some sort of strange stereotype. No, it's not. I do are. like vegetables. I'm not a big <laughs> broccoli fan, though. Oh, you love broccoli. No, no, I don't want to get a lucky gypsy kiss around oh, the back yeah. of the head, either. Now, oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to put I'm like one or two just with this type of cheese. You don't want too much. Do you want the cheese mixed or not? I don't mind. I don't mind okay. which cheeses. Well, we'll for, mix it up. I quite often have four seasons. When we, do you remember oh, yeah. the days when we used to go out for a pizza? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Cool. Whatever happened to those? Days we used to go out. Anyway. Well, go out anywhere. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah. Now yeah. all we get is a misty walk around the block, and that's it. If we're lucky. So I'm just going to use up this. Mind you, today it's freezing cold out there and it's raining as well. So it looks like Misty's lucked out on the walk today, Mist, haven't you? These will be lovely and cheesy, and we like that, don't we? Yeah. Like that. So the, um, the filling for this, so as I said earlier, I've been making these for years, and I used to make them in quite some quantity, actually. And speed at speed, so um, I just got used to the recipe that I used to make. And I think for 12 of these quiche, I would use um, a kilo of flour for pastry, 500 grams of fat. Um, and for the filling, I think I was using that's right, a litre of a single cream and eight eggs as the quiche filling. So um, that's I've got half of that there because I'm making six. So that's 500 mils of single cream. Again, I had it in the fridge. I didn't have a use for it. Um, four eggs, um, some uh, freshly ground black pepper and some salt, not too much salt because you've got the cheese, you've got the ham. Uh, you don't want it to be too salty. And I'm just going to pour the filling carefully over the top. Make sure you share it out. Watch those. Yeah, let's have a look at those lovely quiches that you've got. Right, I'm going to zoom zoom the camera in.
that one in the middle at the back looks like it's thrown a leg out of bed yeah it's got a bit of broccoli sticking up in it so lee um i'm going to try something for the first time today now when you popped out earlier on i took a quick look i've got a really nice arga cookery book and i thought oh i'll just look at quiche and um it says in the book that you can so typically i would always pre-bake pastry and certainly if i was making a flan or a quiche i would always bake the pastry blind let it cool down put the filling in and then bake again now in that arga book i've just looked at it says in the arga you can cook these on the bottom of the roasting oven at the top and it will crisp the pastry and cook it all the way through no soggy bottom so i'm going to give it a try for the first time Good, let's hope you don't get a soggy bottom then. Right, so off I go. Here we go, those are ready already. Didn't take long, did it? Oh, they, they look, look great. Let they me look just, really lovely, don't I'm they? I'm going to zoom in on those because they yum, do look yum. nice. And they are so those vegetable are curry. Curried vegetable pasties. So samosas really, except they're made with um, just some short cusp pastry that I had in the freezer. Lovely. And wanted to All use leftovers. Up. All made from leftovers. And do you know what? You could serve those with um, obviously some lovely chutney. Um, I've got some very nice aubergine chutney actually we made here a couple, uh, a couple of years back. Do you remember yeah, that yeah. one? We had a lot of aubergines in the garden and we made a lot we of did. Indian, Indian I'm going to be growing in this year as well. Uh, some nice cucumber raita. That would be lovely. Uh, and you could make them, of course, these are quite large ones, but you could make these much, much smaller. You could certainly make four or you could even make, you know, make tiny ones. But I think the large ones are quite nice. They're certainly lunch size, aren't they? And it's certainly something to bite into there, isn't Definitely. It? Okay. Smelling really good. What do you reckon, Lee? I can smell it. It's making me feel hungry. I actually. think they're done. I'm going to go and check them out. Excuse me, Misty. Looking good. Okay. Well, let's have a look then. Let's give me mints. Oh, they look lovely. Yeah. Don't they? Yeah. Uh, they're all puffed up now because they will that will um there they go all lovely and puffy and hot they will of course um go down like the puffiness on your face you know they thank you very much Peter. you never have a puffy face oh, i don't have a puffy face thank you so uh i do you know what I i'm wondering though how well that a pastry puffy white right ear cooked <laughs> <laughs> because i've i don't know if i've baked without baking blind for such a long time. In fact, I remember the last time I did it, which is why I haven't done it for such a long time, because the pastry was all flabby on the bottom. It sounds like so, you need someone to try that for you. Yeah, now these Linda. are incredibly hot, but I'm going to be incredibly brave and try and take one out of its case. Um, See if I can actually take one out of it. Um, I have got hands like asbestos. Before. I wouldn't. You've just taken that straight from the oven. I wouldn't touch it. See, I haven't done that before. <laughs> I'm a bit nervous about this. This is where <laughs> anyone viewing this. This is where it normally goes wrong for both. Is, of us. Oh no! Look, but you see, it's quite pale. Now let me get a zoom in on that. So mm. what what is it that's quite you, pale? The pastry. Apart from your do face, you know what I dear? think I might do? Thank you. Do you know what I think I might do? No. Nope. Is I might take them out of these little cases and pop them back in there and just give them a couple of minutes to brown off. Because, right, do you see? Ooh. This is incredibly brave, what I'm doing here. Yeah. This <laughs> it's hang on a minute, I want to get you some film. It's all going to go wrong. <laughs> Look. Ah. No. What was I saying about being bold with pastry? <laughs> You're wrong. Don't let the pastry ah, wear you, you said. Don't let the said. pastry win. And it has. <laughs> no, it's all right. That's nice. Put it, uh, put it in the tray. I can't get it, it's stuck. <laughs> oh, oh, that looks lovely, Belinda. That looks but I really think, nice. You see, you see that, don't you? You see the way it's it's slightly stuck on the bottom? Yeah. So I'm not sure the Does experiment- Does that mean it's got a soggy bottom? Well, I'm not sure that's worked terribly well. But I'm, so I'm gonna take the rest of these out and then I'm gonna pop them back in the hot oven just to crisp off. All right then. I'll see you in a bit.
look, there they are. I've given them another five minutes or so, and I think they're fine. Um, Can I just zoom in on those? Yeah. They look, and it, Do you want me to hold them up? Yeah, I was going to say, you can't smell over the TV, but the smell is fantastic. It's like fresh, right? yeah, really baked nice goods, baked isn't it? Like goods, pastry yeah. smell. They and look cheese. lovely, Belinda. Thank you. They do. In fact, I think one might need to be sampled. Be sampled. Well, look, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop them onto that cooling tray. Um, as I've said, I think, you know, I think the proof's in the pudding, literally, with regard to the quality <laughs> of the, the sorry, proof the is in, the, in pudding. the pie. The proof um, is in the pie. As to whether or not that pastry works by not blind baking it first. And I... Again, we won't we won't know that until. So, am I going to be used as a test dummy? Until we've actually tried one. They're a bit pale, but hey ho, we'll give it a go. I won't do any more soggy bottoms. Don't these look good? I mean, seriously, this was. They look lovely. What we've made here <coughs> with these um, these pasties, I just made with literally leftovers that I had in the freezer and in the fridge. I just thought, what can I do with these bits and pieces? Uh, Let's involve pastry and here we go. So we've got um, Yeah, two curried vegetable pasties and six little individual quiche with broccoli Ham and cheese. Mixed cheese. Taste one? Mixed cheese. I'd like to taste yeah, one. Okay, please. I'll clear this away and I'll put you one on a plate and you can come around here and eat one Okay. Yeah. Quiche sir? Yes, please missus. Missus, there you go. Thank you. Now, <coughs> are you going to do the honours? Yeah. It smells really good. Let me just cut it. It's quite crisp on the bottom, it's not bad. It's not soggy. It's, it's not, not bad, you know. Look at that, it's lovely. Now I'm going to have the bit without the broccoli in. You're going to try some of your own. Well, you've only got one knife and fork there, so. We could share, I know where you've It'll been. Be terribly hot. I'll eat that bit. <laughs> 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 Is it too hot? It's not good. That's a bit. No. Mm. I'm going to use my fingers. That is really nice. Seriously. Oh. That's at the it's very hot. boiling hot, everyone. But it's absolutely mm. scrum. It's lovely. And that pastry is super, actually. I think oh. we're going to have to say goodbye oh. while we finish this off. So bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you very. No, hold on. Thank you very much for watching. It's so rude. Sorry. Mm. Um. Thank you so much, as always, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, for watching us. Um, thoroughly enjoyed ourselves this afternoon, and. We've got plenty to eat. Um, uh, some for the freezer, some for the fridge, some for your tummy. So thanks again for watching. Uh, subscribe, like us, tell all your friends. We do appreciate your support and we will see you very, very soon. Bye for now. Bye.